Wiggins, this is going to be a pretty random question, but I am very curious about it. So On the team's issues this year, it's a closeout games. It seems like there's been different variations of lineups, but in like these kind of close situations, um, the team is still having difficulty closing. Uh, I'll say so far from the last two games, there haven't really been a lot, a lot of issues. And I feel like we all connected. Uh, and we're playing great. I mean, we're just going to keep building from everything we did great and just trying to go over certain things that we not doing the right way. But I don't really see that much issue, especially the past two, uh, the past two games. So what did you think happened tonight? I mean, I know Steph lost the, um, his handle on the ball at the end, but leading up to that play on the final play of the game. I mean, things happen. Uh, we human. We make mistakes, you know. And that's one of the greatest to ever touch the basketball. I mean, everybody make mistakes. Uh, it's just something that maybe we're going to work on it to prevent. It doesn't happen next game, but everybody make mistakes. Jonathan, what do you feel like Draymond has unlocked um, offensively, or how has he impacted the offense these last couple of games? And how, how you know, you, I know you touched on it yesterday, just the impact he has on you personally. But how have you seen him impact the team as a whole since he's returned? I would say just the fire uh, he brings, the energy he has, the energy that ain't nobody out there can match it. I mean, if you guys have one guy like that on the floor, everybody might as well match it. And I feel like. Him just bring him just being there. His presence just bringing so much energy to everybody on the team, and it just makes us roll. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy to see him back and playing at the highest level, and just bringing that energy. He was supposed to be starting, but he don't mind coming off the bench and just still being who he is every other day. I mean, and that's what we need from pretty much everybody else. Jonathan. You guys have seen the Kings so many times, playoffs, preseason, regular season. Just want to get your thoughts, you know, uh, playing this team, competing against this team, you know, so many times. And, and what's that competitive level like playing against them? I mean, it's always a good bump because uh, we definitely see them a lot. Um, uh, what, what are your thoughts? These days um, we're going to win. These days they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna win the bet. I would just say every time we see them, it's just it's a it's a tough battle. Uh, I think everybody played hard uh, on both teams. Nobody wanted to lose, uh, but we always see them a lot. So things like that always gonna happen. We just always gonna play hard against each other. First time you scored thirty, uh, is that something you've kind of been waiting on? I mean, I never. I don't really think about it going in the game, or even when I'm in the game, I don't think about it. I just, uh, I just go with the flow, and today actually happened. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. It just happened because just go out there and just give all I got and help the team win. Up. We definitely did not win today, but all I do is just go out there every day and just trying to help us win. Is that kind of like a little career bookmark for you, though, to get 30? I mean, is that something special for you? I mean, it's definitely everything in life is, if you accomplish different things that you never accomplished before, it's definitely something that you should be happy and proud of it and just work towards it. And I feel like I'm proud of myself uh, to accomplish things like that. Uh, it's just a matter of fact of me keep going and accomplishing more. Uh, can you take us through the last possession and, and also whether you thought about yourself calling a timeout or if, if you thought a timeout could have helped? Uh, no, we talked about it uh, before herders, both before both of his free throws. And um, me and Coach kind of agree, like, we're going we're gonna to take it. Kind of thinking you're going to be down three, knowing he's a good shooter. And he missed the first one, so it's like, all right, yeah, we're still going to 
we had a go expecting he was going to make the second one. You know, you'd be down two and kind of understand the situation. And then once he missed the second one, Clay got a great rebound. But we'd already committed to going. Um, and at that point, it was obviously chaos. Just trying to get over half court, see where the defense was, you know. And once JK gave it to me, at that point, like that's probably where the timeout, I sh either should have seen it or coach or whoever, just to know there's like eight people on one side of court. And we had a screen, they trapped, and I was trying to get the ball back to Draymond to see what could happen. So I would say there's probably should have been a timeout right when I got the ball and turned and saw that the court wasn't balanced right and we still had plenty of time. But, you know, the chaos of the moment, you're trying to make a play, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Steph, uh, Harrison Barnes, former uh, teammate, he had career high 39 points, and the Kings were looking for him tonight. It's his back-to-back 30-plus point game. Uh, just want to get your thoughts about him. Uh, as a professional and as a you know as a person as whole, uh, his name been you know saturated in in, in 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 trade rumors you know for the past few weeks and stuff. But he's still playing ball. Just want to get your thoughts about him. He had a hell of a night um, from the jump. He knew he had 30 last game and picked up right where he left off. Made some big or some threes early. It was a different look than they've usually had in the past where the ball is usually in. Uh, D Fox hit a couple of transition threes in the fourth, but the last four minutes they or three minutes they went to HB in the post. He hit those two turnarounds. Um, he just made every play, made you know every big shot that he took. So, um, you know, with that said, him having 39, you know, Fox having 29. The amount of threes that they made, we you know down the last possession. So it's uh, you know kudos to him for you know doing what he did, and he's a pro. Like trade rumors and the chaos of the league, I don't think that bothers him. He's been around the block. Um, after that game in Memphis, uh, Draymond sort of laid into the the defensive effort, saying that you guys need to play with more pride. What have you noticed about how the defense has played uh, since his return? Uh, I don't know what the – I mean, we gave up 40 in the first quarter tonight and slowly started to find some momentum on that end of the floor. You know, teams are, for whatever reason, they're shooting great against us and you have to figure out a way to slow them down. Um, we played some teams that have five threats around the, around the perimeter and the way the league has changed in that respect. You got to be able to fly around, make multiple efforts, you know, try to defend without fouling. And um, there's a concerted effort to get better on that end of the floor. We understand that that's the only way we're going to win. Um, besides the first quarter, I thought we played pretty well. Just giving up 40 gives the team confidence and it comes down to one point. Like maybe in the first quarter, you could have done something about it. Uh, hi, Steve. Uh, this is Edith from China Median. And uh, since the 2030, it's the first time you will not be the all-star uh, uh, all -star stars. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah. That's uh, I mean, you got two guys that have been playing amazing this year, Luca and, uh, and Shay. So I've been around doing this for a very long time. And the fact that it's a talking point I'm not, and after whatever nine healthy years, like, you know, those two guys are playing amazing. They deserve it. Um, you know, hopefully I'm there in Indiana in whatever capacity. But, uh, yeah, to still be doing it, at, you know, at this stage, um, it's always a challenge. It's never, you know, you don't ever take for granted the fact of how hard it is to uh, be recognized in that way every year. Uh, Steph, you uh, guys, you and, and Warriors and Kings of games have become very, very competitive, especially since last year's playoffs. I mean, at what point do you consider <coughs> games like that to be like a rivalry? The NBA s said it so because we played this week, right? So it's not up to us. You, uh, Draymond's obviously back now. Kaminga's playing the way he is. Um, I know it's early, but are you uh, kind of seeing – uh, the forming of a potential five-man group 
um, with Wiggins even out there. You've had, guys have had some success with that and Clay. Yeah, I think our challenge this whole year is continuity and figuring out who our what our identity is with rotations and understand we've had so many injuries and the revolving door there. You know, guys trying to you know understand or have an expected role every night, knowing who you could be out there with and all that. So it's it's been helpful to have certain looks that we've been going to and developing a chemistry there. You know, that's our challenge to continue to kind of self-assess and, you know, everybody to be aggressive no matter who's out there. To the question about our defensive presence and effort, you got to be able to, you know, have each other's backs, understand everybody's strengths and weaknesses. And with that, you know, particular line, we're starting to figure out something. So, you know, while we're out there, we have to make the most of it. Are you expecting with more continuity now that um, some of the struggles that have occurred closing out close games like this will improve? Yeah, I think this is a different than, you know, games we've had in the past. The games you're kind of, I guess, referring to where we've lost big leads or uh, just not been able to maintain the momentum in the fourth quarter where we should have won. You know, tonight is one of those NBA, you know, kind of traditional NBA games where it's just back and forth, you know, the whole game, and it comes down to the last possession. I think we played extremely well. They just, you know, made a lot of big shots that kept us, you know, on our heels a little bit. But that's one that could kind of go either way. And timeout, no timeout, you know, shot it here, shot there, like, it's just a different vibe than it, than it has been, even though it is a loss. So you, just, like, we never a moral victory team, but you take the framework of tonight, keep doing that, you'll have more to show for it. Stefan, um, with Jonathan Kaminga's ability to attack and just just be so explosive, how how much does that open things up on the floor? The last this last stretch, you guys have um, you know been more balanced. The the, the I don't know the the passing the the ball movement seems seems to be coming together these last couple of games and and a lot of different scores and different contributions. I mean that is the formula based on how teams guard us and you know when me and Clay are out there you're gonna have attention on the perimeter because they know what we like to do and J K and Wiggs being able to take advantage of those driving angles be aggressive every time they touch the ball. Um, decisive with what they're doing, you know, it's it's looked pretty good. So you gotta just keep doing that, um, and usually, I think with those situations where you know we have an understanding of how we're trying to create shots and who's got the ball in their hands and what sets we're running, there's just a lot more organization. Um, out there on the floor. So these last two games have been pretty good in that front. Just got to keep doing it.